the man I was used to sin. The man I was will sin again. Thank God I'm not the man I was. Isn't that what, what it says in chapter 12 of Tanya? When it, when it introduces the Benini. Chapter 12. The Habenini, and who is this Benini? Who is he? He's someone who never sinned and he never will sin. He never sinned, he never will sin. Okay, so that eliminates all of us. Because if you're saying to be a Benini means you never sinned and you never will sin. First of all, he never sinned in the past. Well, anyone who sinned, that's it. So we can't be a Benini. And he never will sin in the future. What about free choice? We all have free choice, so you can't guarantee you won't sin. Of course you could. And how do we understand this statement? What we understand is that this is the definition of a Bainini. That when you become a Bainini, when you're in that state of mind and spirit called being a Bainini, then at that point, you're a new person. And whoever you were in the past before you became a Bainini, that's not you anymore. So your sins in the past, those aren't you. That's another person or an earlier version of yourself, but that's not you today. And in fact, that's the way the whole thing works, is that that's not you. You're a new person. If I were still the same guy who used to sin, then I can guarantee you I'm going to continue to sin. Maybe I'll control it a little better. Maybe I'll hide it a little bit better. But I'm still the same guy. Why should you expect radically different behavior? But if I'm a different guy, so then what I did in the past, that wasn't me anymore. That isn't me anymore. And not only that, but I can tell you about my future. As long as I'm a Bainini, I will never sin. The man I was used to drink. The man I was will drink again. Thank God I'm not the man I was, meaning I don't have to drink again. As long as I never go back to being that person. So herein lies one of the great paradoxes of Tanya. And those who studied Tanya will probably appreciate this. You know, if you ask someone, what's Tanya about? Is Tanya about focus on your behaviors and don't worry about your insides? Or is Tanya, conversely, is Tanya about deep personal transformation? becoming a totally new person who has new ways of thinking, not just new thoughts, but new ways of thinking, rewiring your mind and new feelings, new ways of feeling, new priorities, new, you care about things you didn't used to care about and then you don't care about things you used to care about. Is Tanya about focus on the outsides and don't worry about the insides? Or is Tanya about, hey, now you have the power to transform the insides? And like any Jewish question where we ask, is it this or is it this? The answer is yes. It's both. It's both. The paradox of Tanya is that it's both.